I am Guan Ping. I have trained in the martial arts since I was young, so that I may put an end to the chaos. One day, I met the legendary Guan Yu and became his adopted son. This next battle will be a difficult one for our lord. We must escape Cao Cao's pursuers while escorting his people to safety in Chiang Lei. Father, please allow me to assist Lord Liu Bei. I am aware that my skills are meager compared to yours, but I will do my best not to let you down. Guan Ping, I have heard about you from your father Guan Yu. I want to thank you for leading the troops in his place. In this battle, our objective is to escape Cao Cao's pursuit. Using the tactical points along the road, we must try and use them to create a path for our army to escape. Guan Yu has fought many battles and overcome many hardships to become the hero that he is today. You too need to overcome difficulties and grow stronger and bigger for the sake of our cause. Everyone, we must escape with our lives. I'll protect my lord with every bit of my strength. We will secure the base and launch a fire attack. I have occupied this base. here. Absolutely no one. Come on! This bridge belongs to me, and the toll for passage is death. Task unit. Begin construction. I'll be your opponent. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. Officer defeated. Hey! Zhao Yu! You finally got here! I need your help. I must return our Lord's child. You should have brought your allies. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. Hello? I hope you're ready. Oh, <laughs> 
officer defeated. Essential to my strategies. Shall we be to the death? Both I, sir, and your young child are unharmed. The time is now. Master Liu Bei, first of all, Allow these flames to light your path. The road ahead will be long, but the destination is certain. is just what we need, you get me up. Well, that's it for me. I sure hope my brother's okay. Did you think you could overcome this base? A proper strategy will always have to be strength. Retreat is an acceptable strategy. Enemy officer defeated. Your might is essential to my strategies. If they're so eager to die, then we'll be happy to apply them. Not be so careless. Fall back.
Just because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight. Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. And the officer feels. <laughs> Defensive positions. We must let the people escape. Your treachery shall not go unpunished. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. My lord, you must escape. Never. I will not leave my people here. <laughs> it was my hope that I would hear such words from you. Now is the time. Our strategy now will open the path to a better tomorrow. I devote my skills to Liu Bei's great virtue. Master Liu Bei, this way! We're next. We must all live to fight another day.
you, Bay. It's about time I took your head. Now it's my turn. Lord, I shall teach you about that. Someday, you shall pay for this. Enemy officer defeated. We managed to escape from Cow Cow's army. This is due to the fact that everybody risked their lives for me. I see that I am truly loved by my followers. However, we must be careful to avoid such a situation again in the future. Cow Cow will not let us escape a second time. If only we had a land to call our own, we could fight back. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom for remarkable intellect. Lord Liu Bei survived his ordeal at Changban and later allied with Sun Quan. Together, they successfully destroyed Cao Cao's fleet at Chi Bi. Now, we just need to chase Cao Cao down. However, my father feels a sense of obligation to Cao Cao. I can understand how difficult it is for father to attack him, for my father values honor as much as he does strength. But Cao Cao is Xu's enemy and must be defeated. If my father cannot kill him, then I will have to do it for him. We shall cooperate with Wu and attempt to chase down Cao Cao, who, having suffered a near disastrous defeat at Chibi, has no choice other than to escape. This is the best chance we have had yet. Cao Cao, in an attempt to rebuild his fallen army, is retreating to Xiangling. Everybody, I want you to go and hunt down Cao Cao. Guan Ping. Your father will surely let Cao Cao escape out of his sense of obligation to him. We must not allow that. Please, relieve your father and eliminate Cao Cao. Why are you not pursuing Cow Cow? I have a debt, and my honor decrees that I must pay my debts. Then I shall act for you. Be warned, Guan Ping. Lord Cow Cow is a great man. Lord Cow Cow, I believe my debt to you is paid. Don't let Cow Cow get away! You'll never break through my defense! I shall teach you the horrors of war! I'll take out the bridge before the enemy shows up! The master is here? Quick! Cut over the path!
enemy officer defeated. Break through the enemy lines and overrun them! I shall show no mercy. Your strength is quite impressive. I would rather live and redeem myself than die in shame. Enemy officer defeated. Cow Cow, this way! You have my thanks. of my blade. Isolated. Be more careful. Some battles you win, and some battles you lose. Enemy officer defeated. You're isolated. Be more careful. Someday, you shall pay for this. Enemy officer defeated! Huh. Yeah, yeah, huh. 
We have thoroughly crushed Cow Cow's army. It was quite humorous to see them scattering about like ants. This defeat should shut him up for a while. However, he will definitely come seeking revenge. Before that time comes, we must build up our military strength and be prepared to meet their advance. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom as a brilliant youth. The Kingdom of Shu was formed after the Battle of Chibi, bringing us one step closer to realizing my father's dreams. Our next battle will be against Wei at Mount Dingzhong. Rumors say that Zhang Fei's daughter, Xin Kai, will be at the battle as well. I wonder if she can really fight. Well, she is the daughter of Zhang Fei after all. I suppose it is only natural for her to be well versed in the martial arts. At any rate, I can't let her get the best of me out there. From here, we shall advance our army to Mount Dingjun in Hanjiang. If we can take this land, it will prove advantageous in our battle against Wei. In this battle, we must first look to capture Mount Tiandang. Afterwards, we shall rush into the enemy camp, follow Huang Zhang's lead and press the attack. Guan Ping, watch Huang Zhang closely. You could definitely learn something from one who has lived his entire life on the battlefield. Shinkai! It's been so long. Have you gotten a little taller? Uh, I don't know. I can't exactly see myself grow. Really? I thought you looked taller than before. First, attack Mount Tian Dang on three sides. Yeah. Stay behind me, Shinkai! You know you don't need to worry about me. Do you think you can stop me? Officer defeated. <laughs> what a view! The beautiful sky above and the enemy camp below. <laughs> Astounding at long last. A worthy opponent. Take this momentum straight to the enemy camp. Down, I won't give in, and I definitely won't lose! Ah, excellent timing! Let's finish this!
Pretty tough. This should be a good exercise. Shall we dance to the enemy pack? They are powerless to stop us. <laughs> Do you think you can stop me? <laughs> Let us turn this battle into a field of beauty. I must go and work on my delivery. Enemy officer defeated. Shall show no mercy. Now it's my turn. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. I won't lose a second time. Enemy officer defeated.
I don't like the looks of this. Who you want has I'll get you. I shall deal with you. There he is at last. All units aim for Cow Cow. Go and attack the enemy camp. Excellent work. Defenses were You win, and some battles you lose. Someday you shall pay for this. Enemy officer defeated. We expelled the Wei army from Hanzhong and created a foothold towards the center of the continent. These fertile lands shall serve the kingdom of Shu well in the battles ahead. With our army gaining power, we have realized the Three Kingdoms' strategy. Surely Wei and Wu will plot together to try and bring us down. We must keep our guard up at all times. Our victory at Mount Ding Jun struck fear not only in the hearts of Wei, but Wu as well. So they decided to join forces and attack my father who was stationed in Jing. After the last battle, I was sent to serve under my father. In order to secure our position, we were sent to Xiang Yang to attack Bon Castle. Father, it has been a long time since we last fought together. I will do my best not to hold you back. Now that the land has been divided in three, Jing is more strategically important than ever before. Control of Jing is essential for Master Liu Bei's plan to unite the land. Cao Ren is in charge of protecting Fawn Castle. Additionally, reinforcements from both Wei and Wu should be arriving shortly. We must keep these reinforcements in mind while we attack the castle. I cannot go with you this time. Wan Ping, I am entrusting this battle to you. Hurry and head for Fawn Castle and bring victory to Guan Yu and our forces.
Father, preparations are complete. Hmm. If we time this right, the waters will devastate them. Father, when the battle is over, could you please teach me to play Go? Sure. That sounds like it would be very enjoyable indeed. All right, let's move. We'll flood Fawn Castle with a water attack. Hold the front. Keep strict watch over the floodgates. I won't be denied next time. Enemy officer defeated. <laughs> Show no mercy. denied next time. <laughs> Enemy officer defeated. The river's gonna overflow any second now. defend this castle if it's the last thing I do. My duty is to defend this castle. Therefore, I will have to destroy you. Ah! 
Let's see if you like my helmet. Waters of war, rush forth to devour Fawn Castle! are our path to glory! Charge! Now's our chance! All units advance on Fawn Castle!
I shall return before this is all over. Enemy officer defeated. After being attacked by Wei and Wu, I was prepared to meet death head on. However, thanks to everybody's assistance, we were able to escape. After suffering this wound, I do not think I can lead my army. But if everybody comes together, Jing should continue to live in peace. I am counting on them to get us through this. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is known in one kingdom for extraordinary talent. <sighs> During the assault on Fun Castle, the Wu army surrounded General Guan Yu and... It can't be. Guan Yu. Bring me my sword at once. Everyone, begin preparing for war. No, my lord. Our enemy is Wei. It would not be just to attack Defeat Wu. Wei, and Wu will have no choice other than to surrender. Please reconsider. None of that matters to me now. Neither of you understand my pain. I must do it for the death of my brother. Wu must pay. My father died from the wounds he suffered at Fawn Castle. So this is the price of victory. Despite my grief, I forced myself to ask how I could become stronger. I now fight for the good of the people. I will fight at Yi Ling not only to prove my strength, but to aid in the creation of the new world that my father had longed to see. Father, I will do my best to honor you by leading Shu to victory. I shall not rest until this chaos has ended. Guan Ping, like our Lord, I am sure that you wish to avenge the death of your father. However, you appear to be concentrating on something else. You have the look of a man who knows where he is going and what he is doing. Very well. I shall place you in charge of this battle and the future of Shu. Guan Ping, there are weaknesses within our formation and I know for sure that the enemy will target them. Go and disrupt the enemy's plans and bring victory to Shu. I'm glad you're in one piece. Don't worry, I'm fine. But I'm not out of the fire yet. There are still a few things that I need to do. Soon Quan must pay for the death of Guan Yu. Because we're a supply base doesn't mean we can't fight.
need it. Get out of my way. I'm not letting anyone get near you, Ron. Don't think it'll be easy just because I'm a woman. Is this one of the enemy's tactics? Did you think you could break through our forces? I have no intention of losing a battle as personal as this one. Need to rethink your strategy? That's fine with me. The attack is ready. Fire! Now it begins. These fires shall light the road to victory in this battle. It worked. All we need now is to charge the enemy. Must persevere. It was a dangerous battle, but I was able to kill my hated enemy, Sun Quan. Surely Guan Yu and Zhang Fei must have lent me their strength from up in the heavens above. Now that the battle is over, I must apologize to everybody for going to battle without heeding your advice. I ask that you forgive me and continue to serve me and the land of Shu. A new bodyguard has come to act in your service. This bodyguard is renowned in three kingdoms as a veteran of great ability.
It was during the final days of the year 200 AD when the Han Dynasty saw its end. Its demise ushered in a new era of chaos, brought on by several regional lords vying to rule China. There were those who sought absolute power, as well as those who fought for justice, and some simply fought for the sake of their beliefs. Many would rise and fall in their attempts to dominate the land, Guan Ping, the adopted son of Guan Yu, said to be the second son of Guan Ding in Nei Bay, Guan Ping trained hard in the martial arts in order to bring peace to the troubled land. One day, Liu Bei and Guan Yu were staying at Guan Ding's home when an eager Guan Ping asked to join them. Through Liu Bei's mediation, Guan Yu agreed to adopt him, as the two shared the same family name. The ties between Guan Yu and Guan Ping would become very strong over time. Guan Ping obeyed his new father faithfully and fought in many historic battles. He respected Guan Yu greatly and tried his very best to live up to his father's expectations. In 209 AD, Guan Yu found himself in trouble during an attack against Cao Ren at Fan Castle. The allied armies of Wei and Wu were so powerful that both father and son found it nearly impossible to escape. Guan Ping fought fiercely and managed to stay alive, but Guan Yu was slain. Guan Ping swore to himself that he would continue to fight in order to honor his father and avenge his death. Before long, an opportunity to face Wu would present itself. Guan Ping avenged his father by defeating Wu. However, the chaos of the land continued. Adopting Liu Bei and Guan Yu's ambitions as his own, he became a very prominent warrior of Shu and fought in many glorious battles. These tales, passed on for generations, have endured the tests of time and live on today. The legendary warriors are praised and respected as if they were the gods themselves. Father, you have my word. Your dream will be realized. Watch over me, Father. I swear to you that the land shall belong to Shu!